Welcome to our exploration of ambient occlusion in Unreal Engine. In the pursuit of photorealistic renders, ambient occlusion plays a crucial role. It adds depth and realism to our virtual environments by simulating the subtle shadowing and occlusion effects found in the real world. From architectural visualizations to captivating cinematics, understanding the importance of ambient occlusion is key to creating immersive and believable experiences. Join us as we uncover the secrets behind ambient occlusion settings, mastering the radius, intensity, and quality to achieve breathtaking realism in your renders. Get ready to take your creations to the next level as we dive deep into the world of ambient occlusion in Unreal Engine. So, first of all, I want to talk about the concept of ambient occlusion, which is a rendering technique used to simulate the softening of ambient light in real-world environments. It helps to create more realistic and visually pleasing scenes by enhancing the perception of depth and contact shadows. It works by calculating the occlusion or darkening effect caused by nearby objects blocking ambient light from reaching a surface. This results in areas that are hidden or partially obscured appearing darker, while exposed or open areas appear brighter. By adjusting the parameters of ambient occlusion in the post-process volume of Unreal Engine, such as radius, intensity, and bias, you can control the level of occlusion and fine-tune the overall appearance of your scene. So let's just go to the post-process volume effect of this project. And in the rendering features section, let me find it. Yes, it's right here. And if you expand it, the third section is the ambience occlusion. And if you expand it, you can see these two main parameters that we got here, which are intensity and the radius. The intensity parameter in ambient occlusion controls the strength or magnitude of the occlusion effect. Higher values result in more pronounced and darker shadows, while lower values reduce the overall impact of ambient occlusion on the scene's lighting. On the other side, the radius parameter in ambient occlusion determines the size or extent of the occlusion effect. Increasing the radius value expands the reach of ambient occlusion, resulting in larger and more widespread shadowing, and decreasing it focuses the occlusion effect to smaller areas, creating more localized and detailed shadows. So now that we are familiar with these two main parameters, let's take a look to some of the advanced parameters that we got here. The first parameter is the power and this one in ambient occlusion controls the strength or intensity of the occlusion effect, allowing you to adjust the darkness and contrast of the shadow. And after that, let me just decrease the power a bit. And here we have the quality parameter, which determines the level of precision and accuracy in calculating the occlusion effect, impacting the smoothness and fidelity of the shadows. And after that, we got the bias parameter, which adjusts the distance at which the occlusion effect starts, helping to control the precision of the shadows and prevent unwanted artifacts. So let's just change the camera view and let's review what we got in this video. Well, we explored the power of ambient occlusion in Unreal Engine a crucial technique that brings realism to our renders, we discussed the key parameters such as intensity, radius, quality, and bias, and how they contribute to the overall look and feel of our scenes. By understanding and fine-tuning these settings, we can achieve stunning visual depth and enhance the realism of our environments. And remember, Mastering the art of ambient occlusion is just one step on your journey to creating breathtaking visuals. Embrace the power of experimentation, push the boundaries of your creativity, and always strive for excellence. With Unreal Engine as your canvas, there are no limits to what you can achieve. So go forth, explore, and let your imagination soar. Your artistic vision awaits its transformation into reality.